Hey, what's going on everybody? Bauer Brown back with you. Welcome to video number two in our tutorial series. Uh, hopefully the installation went okay for everybody and everything uh, worked out pretty well. And you should now, when you start Giants Editor, should be looking at what you're seeing here. Um, so right now, like I said, this is video number two. And what we're going to do from here, uh, <clears throat> we're going to go over a few things and... To get the ball rolling, what we're going to start off by is make sure, one, number one, make sure you have your Giants Editor open. And I want you to go up to File, and I want you to go down to New Mod from Game. And no, we don't want to save that. Go through here, there's going to pop up, a little box is going to pop up, and it's going to give you a list of like everything that's currently available within the game. Uh, you can see all your tractors and wagons and stuff like that. But at the very tippity top of this list, you will see the three maps are available. The Alpine, the French, and the U.S. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a new, basically a new mod from game, just like it says. And this will give us a platform that we can go on and we can change things and we can dig holes and we can paint stuff. And we don't have to worry about screwing up the base game. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, and start this for now. And, like, and this is also going to be part of the lesson to teach you guys of how to make a new mod from game. Um, so let's go down, <clears throat> like I said, go up the file, pick new mod from game. Once this box pops up, you know, pick the map that you want to work with. I'm going to pick the map.us, click OK. Uh, the default working directory is goes into my documents and my, F, my FS22 mods. Click OK on that. Now, it'll take a minute or two depending on how fast your system is. Um, some may be slower, some might be faster, but ultimately it doesn't take too, too long as you can see. Um, so once this comes up, we can get started on, you know, a few other things. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. There we go. And that's it. Now we have new mod from game. So if you go back and you look at right here in my, let's see, my FS22 mods, mod map, D, mod map US is in there. Um, so that that's how you create a new mod from game. So for anybody looking to make a map... This is basically your starting point right now. So you have an exact duplicate of the U.S. map or the French map or whatever it is that you wanted to you wanted to work with there, right? <clears throat> okay, so now that we got that settled, we got ourselves a you know a new version of the map that we can do whatever we want to do with. We are going to start learning how to do a few other things within the editor itself. One of the things we need to know is how to move around. Now, this is going to seem a little bit weird to use, guys. It did for me personally. It took me maybe an hour, a couple of hours maybe, um, until I really got a hang of it. And ultimately, you're going to be spending so much time on your maps that it's going to become second nature, and you're going to be flying around this thing with no issues whatsoever. Okay? Um, so then, like I said, the first thing we're going to cover is how to move around. Okay, now... Uh, let me think about this. It's like I got a few things changed up on mine. Um, to move, either one of your alt buttons, the ALT, your alt button, your left or your right, it doesn't matter. You're going to need to have that pushed in. And you can use your left mouse button. will give you this panning action that you see right here. Okay. Alt plus your right mouse button will give you a, uh, like a forward backwards motion or a zoom type motion, if you will. All right, so I can pan a little bit and then zoom, pan a little bit, zoom. So it'll be left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button. Okay, and now middle mouse button is going to move. You can do a left, right, up, down. So it basically moves, you know, your entire viewpoint, I guess would be for lack of a better word, from left, right, left, right. Okay, so... Say I wanted to go up a little bit, middle mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button. All right, middle middle mouse button, left mouse button. So what I want you to do is take a take a little bit, take a little bit of time to practice that. Like I said, you have to hold down your Alt key, or else none of that's going to work for you. Um, one thing is if you don't have a middle mouse button for whatever reason, you just <laughs> happen to not have one. Um, your right and left mouse button together will give you that same effect that the middle mouse button does, right? Where it'll move around the entire camera. Now, one of the other things that I did, and I can let you know, and it, this helps you out a lot, is 
I have a gaming mouse, which I think most of us do, has a lot of programmable buttons and stuff like that. And I programmed one of my other buttons on my mouse to be my alt key. Um, so basically I can do all of this one handed now. I don't have to hold down my alt button. Um, everything is done right on the mouse itself. So that frees up another hand for, I really don't want to know what you need your other hand free for, but it will be free if you need it for anything. All right. So there's that. Uh, the other thing to mention about that is if you look right down here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you see nav speed. I believe your plus and minus buttons will change that speed for you. Okay, so let's say if we go all the way down, now your nav speed, you're basically on turtle right now. Okay, and that, that's how fast you're going to move around the map. And let's jack that up. Now you can go pretty darn high, I believe. And now you're moving pretty quick. Now I usually keep mine, I don't know, I haven't really looked at mine for quite a while. I think it was on 17 to start, right? If I remember correctly. And that to me seemed to be like, you know, pretty good, you know, pretty good speed, right? The reason you're not going to want it too, too high, now you would think the higher the better, right? Especially when you need, you know, you get in the bigger maps and you need to go all the way across the map. You know, it's going to take a few tries to get across there. But the reason you don't, you know, you don't want to keep it that high unless you plan on changing it a lot, which I don't. I keep it on one speed and that's basically it is like let's say if you're trying to line something up and you need to just move the camera teeny tiny little bits well when you have that jacked up real high like that that thing's just going to be shooting all over the place it's going to be hard to make adjustments and adjust your view and so find a speed that works comfortable for you um like i said on on my computer here it's the plus and minus keys on my number pad if you do not have a number pad on your computer your normal plus and minus keys may work or you can go up here to file, go down the preferences, over here, click the shortcuts tab, scroll down a little ways, and you can see camera translation scale. Um, you can change these to be anything that you want. So like I said, if you don't have a number pad, you can pick any old button that you want. You can see that the, uh, the default here is the plus and minus or the, uh, the number pad plus and minus keys. Those will work just well for you. So, again, if you don't have a number pad, you can go ahead up to preferences and pick just about anything you want for your shortcuts. And that goes for just about anything else in this list as well. Um, as you go through here, if you ever want to find out what key does what, this is a good place to look. Uh, you can figure that out just by looking through the list here. And if anything seems like it would work better for you or doesn't work so well, you can go ahead and you can change that default setting to something of your choice. And that's going to about wrap it up for this lesson. Um, I'm Bauer Brown, and I will see you on the next video.